read write and then TFS on Big Sur and this one is my uh, Hackintosh so I have a Windows 10 NVMe which I can't read or write to it let's demo so if we want to do this one we have to eject it first then when we look in here this utility so it's not mounted okay and we're going to do the command now first we have to do this utility list to see NVMe Win 10 NVMe right here so it this zero S3 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sudo user local I created this folder so to make it easier for me to do the command so this command right here will mount it read writable and this is a disk 03 and we're going to call it volume and TFS so now it mount this one into an NTFS read writable using NTFS 3G so this one is actually my Win 10 now I can read write to it see that if I want to plug in another external NTFS so first I have to unmount it eject so now I'm going to do this utility to see which disk it is so this one is NTFS basic data so this 3 s3 so I'm going to change this one to this 3 s3 but the volume has to be different so I'm going to do it NTFS 1 so now I have volume 1 which is my external USB now this one I can also read or write to it All right. now if I want to put another one in it's a Seagate 2 terabyte so right now I cannot read or write to it so I'm going to eject it and then I'm going to see what this is on so the Seagate is disk 5 S1 right here so disk 5 S1 and this one I have to break it a 2 so volume 2 okay so it's going to fix it and it's going to mount it so this one right here is my 2 terabyte so now I can just drag stuff between them okay so how we're we gonna do this what we want to do is to go to brew.sh and we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna open a terminal and then we're gonna install it that's the first thing we're gonna go to github gromit homebrew fuse this one right here what we're gonna do is to 
install this, download this one, copy it, and then we're going to install it. That's how I did it. Okay? So when you install this, it will install everything for you. OS Fuse, and we're going to download this one, Mac Fuse, and then we're going to install it. And then after you install it, you will see Mac Fuse here. So there's no available. Then we're going to brew install. So there's none. And then the last one we want to do is to install brew install NTFS 3G Mac. So now they said if you want to link it, go to there. So we're going to do brew link NTFS 3G Mac. So whatever it says here, now you're going to open the seller. Mac, so here's what you're going to do is that you first you have to show all files, okay? Now we're going to open this and we go to user and you go to local, you the seller. And you have the NTFS 3G Mac here, and you have this one. So inside there, there's bin. So now, if you look, S bin, mount NTFS, you can see it has everything already. All the option for it to mount the NTFS 3G. Okay. So now what I do is that if you go to the bin and then you use NTFS 3G app, then you can do it using the command just like I did here. But that's too long. So what I what I did is I copy this one, and then I go to local. I copy it to here, and I rename it to NTFS. Actually, this one is the same. Two zero twenty one dot eight or twenty two. I take this one out, and then I paste it in here, and I rename it to NTFS. So now. I just do user local NTFS bin NTFS 3G and it will work to mount. This one right here is the this one amount and the volume NTFS either NTFS 0, 1, 2, 3 so you can mount it. Okay, so that's how I do it. So this one works perfectly.